Okay. So we're gonna be making dream catchers. All right. So I'm like I'm leading class over here, doing a Zoom, and trying to record myself for YouTube. All right. All right. So supplies that you guys need first is gonna need be your frame, this foam frame. If you guys have markers at home or paint, you guys can color, um, change the color of your frame, or it could stay white too. It would look nice that way, but it's up to you guys. Um, we've sent home before like watercolors in a little palette. If you guys are here in person, um, we do have watercolors, so you guys just need a few drops. A little goes a long way. Um, if you add a little bit of water, it could dilute the color and it'll make a lot more. So you guys, if you want, can paint your frame to, for starters because it is watercolor on um, foam. It'll dry fairly quickly. So you guys can do that. Once you guys, um, or, no okay? Okay, okay, if you have marker, you can also um, do stripes on it or you could write something on it, like your name, your last name. You could do polka dots. Up to you guys. Um, just get creative with it or again, it could stay white, okay? If you guys don't want to color it or, or mess with the frame, white would look nice as well. It's up to you guys. So, when you guys are done with that, what you guys can, are going to do, I sent saran wrap. If you guys have some at home, also, um, hold on one sec, you guys. So, once you guys, if you did paint your frame and if it's dried, um, next step would be getting saran wrap. So for those of you guys that are, at, that are at home, I did send saran wrap. I know it's a little messy. It kind of gets um, a little tangled. So if you guys uh, have saran wrap at home, you guys could also get fresh one from your house. What you guys are gonna do first is um, grab the saran wrap because it's clear. And you guys are going to, I recommend, I know on these, um, they've been covering it, the front layer. So you guys are gonna cover the front. I recommend doing it from the back so that the front looks a little neater, but it's up to you guys. What you guys can do is grab the saran wrap and you guys are gonna glue it onto the little part right here on the inside. So right inside, you guys. And then that's gonna be your first layer of saran wrap, okay? So once you guys have that, um, that's gonna be in there. You guys are going to be grabbing just a couple of flowers, you guys. You don't need a lot because if you cover it, it's going to be a little, probably too crowded if you get too many things. So if you guys notice here on the examples, maybe like three flowers, two or three leaves. And then we have like these little, um, I don't even know, these little branches with, with tiny little, so you guys can see on Zoom. Yeah, so you don't need a lot of things. You guys could even, if you have flowers at home, you guys could even take apart the petals and have petals um, throughout throughout your frame, wherever you guys wanna, however you guys wanna arrange them. So once you guys have your saran wrap, what you guys are gonna be doing, grab a flower here, put, put it around wherever you guys want to separate them. And then to keep them in place, once you know where you want them, you guys are gonna use clear glue um, or you guys can clear use, hot glue stick, if if you guys have it. Um, it's not like that important, but you guys do need it for um, the inside of the, the frame. So if you guys don't have that right now, you guys could um, wait and then get that later. So you don't have to uh, do that now. But I do recommend um, if you yeah. have it, adding like a few drops of glue where you want your flowers, that'll keep them in place. Um, again, if you don't have that glue, um, hot glue works, uh, glue sticks, any type of glue. So once you guys have your flowers and you guys are done, let it dry for a couple minutes. And then you guys are gonna get the second layer of saran wrap and then you guys are going to cover the back again. And it could just be within that square or if you guys feel more comfortable uh, taping it or gluing it to the back um, of the frame, you won't be able to see it. So then that's gonna give it that cover, that layer, and it's almost gonna look like glass because it's see-through. But once it's done and you have it covered, it will look like this. So 
Any questions so far? Ooh, so it has to be uh, two layers of saran wrap. Right? Yes, two layers of saran wrap. One in front of um, to hold your flowers, and then one in the back to secure it. Okay. Yeah.